Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin Mano out on the balcony here at My FM with Hosier. Hey, it's good to see you, man. Welcome hey, back. Thank you very, very much. I love when people come back for the uh, the second time or the third time or the fourth. You know what I mean? It's keeps it coming back. Means things are going well yeah. for you. Yeah, thank uh, you. Congrats on the album, Wasteland Baby. Incredible. Thank you very much. It's a great much. album. It's doing very well. Did it debut at number one here in the U.S.? It did. It was it debut. Yeah, it was Billboard number one. I was delighted. Yeah. Was Were you? Do you pay attention to that? Were you expecting it? Were you watching the numbers? I, d I wasn't expecting it. I have to say. I thought. I thought we were up against. You know, it was being released alongside some absolute you know amazing acts. Do you know what anything anything particular that you were up against? Um I know that I know that Solange dropped her album okay. that day that day. I know that 2 Chains dropped his album that day. Um I don't I was we, I was in New York so I was spending time with label and we were doing some promotion for it. I didn't think and then of course Ariana Grande was 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 number 1 at the time. I d so I d right. I kind of I just wanted to to you know uh, do my best for, for the album and its launch and and but uh, you know I was delighted that it uh, was when it comes out do you read reviews um any publications maybe that you would per you would personally like and you're curious what they think I or anything I kind of don't I like I I, I nearly I, I just don't I think um I think you, you make what you have to make and then you move on from it and then sure. you make the next thing I think what people say about I think what people say about the noises you make is even more absurd than the making of noise itself. So I, hmm. you know, like I that's know. interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's fascinating. Yeah. Um, and I know people say it all the time, but did you feel that you know second album, that sophomore album, pressure to? Because I mean, Take Me to Church was such a massive hit. Hits like that, that size, don't come that often. You know, yeah. so for yeah. to, to follow that up, I would think would be you'd be in your head a little bit. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, I just, I came off the road with a, with a few ideas I, w I really, really wanted to explore. I think there was there was pressure maybe in, in some ways, but I just wanted to write, the pressure uh, for me was self-contained and I wanted to write music or approach writing music the same way that I approached writing Take Me to Church yeah. and, and and that first record and that's that's all I Did you find it difficult since your life obviously changed a lot in the, you know, those years? I, d I didn't, I made the decision to move back to the countryside and I was living alone. So I kind of, in a very similar place, a similar part of the world, and, and living in a similar way that I did when I was, when, how I've always written music. So, you know, I, that's, I, I found that helpful, you know. And explain, uh, describe that for me, living in the countryside, living alone. Is it yeah. like a farm? It's, it would have been, when I first moved to that part of the world, yeah, it was very active farming going around. Huh. Less so now. I mean, yeah, it's still there's still lambing season comes in, and, and yeah, there's still, like, a lot of active. Wow, well, how so close is your nearest neighbor? Um couple of acres away wow yeah, and you're yeah. there by yourself i was living alone yeah, yeah dude yeah. yeah it was nice and do you, are you plugged in i mean do you have you know twitter oh, yeah. and stuff yeah, yeah yeah you've got you know internet and electricity okay. yeah. not quite out of house no, and candlelight not. you know <laughs> but uh, it was nice and would you do you stay active on social media like are you reading stuff and you know little little bit yeah a little bit you know um i do of course yeah, yeah. like a, you know a yeah. I found it fascinating. I was looking, looking you up, looking your stuff up, and I know you know you have a lot of causes that are near and dear to your heart, and you're, you write very honest music about what's going on in the world. But you follow a handful of American politicians, yes, which yeah. I thought was cool. Yeah, do you absolutely. try and follow everything? Because it's hard to, to keep up with what's going on over yeah, here. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, um, I would follow a good few American politicians, a good few American journalists. Which definitely, when I was off the road, a lot of a lot of uh, political correspondents as well too, and, and like and political correspondents who were out in China and. and uh, because it, you know what I mean. I, I uh, would have a serious interest in that. And yeah. Also, it's just it's a very fascinating time for for global politics. It is. You know, and right. um, there's a, there's a lot of very very interesting politicians who are who are uh, in the kind of center stage at the moment in America. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, yeah. See, so I don't have that global view. I don't know how much other people care about what's going on here. Before you sort of you know started touring here and you spent more time here, were, did you care then? Like, were you plugged into what was going on here? I don't know how. Very very much so. I think. Um, I suppose it's it's the how, how do I best put this? Like economically speaking, like pe people would put it this way. But like I don't know who first said it, but like when America sneezes, uh, the the rest of the world catches the cold. Okay. So like so economically hmm. speaking, yeah, people like of course with with you know uh, America is is a is a, is, a, is a it's it's very important to to stay in tune, especially with its with its foreign policy because obviously that you know yeah. that affects people who are outside of Interesting. America. So yeah, of course. But you know, that's that's just an interest I'd have. And do you get pushback ever for your politics, but you know, fans of yours or music or anything cuz it's it's kind of impossible to escape that these days. Yeah, I mean, I haven't experienced I haven't experienced pushback. I'm I think we all have values. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And we all and we all we all try to we all try to live by and try to be honest and, and approach those values in good faith. And I approach my work in good faith. 
And if those values come through, they come through. And I sure. Think, and I think if people have, uh, I think th the, the type of people who ha would take issue with that or would take issue with what my values would be, I find just don't listen to my work. Right. And I, but I, I, I don't think my work either is terribly, it's not exactly... Um, it's not heavy-handed or anything? It's not terrible. Yeah. I wouldn't think so. No. Yeah. I, well, I, I hope not. No, no, no. I think you, uh, you get serious about certain issues, but you do it in a very respectful way and uh, yeah. artistic and... Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate what you're doing. Oh. Um, I saw you did Ellen yesterday. You were on Ellen. Yeah, that was with fun. Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, totally. It was he good put fun. it on his Instagram that you're one of his favorites. Yeah, it was sweet, man. He's a he's such a he's such a cool dude. We met at Byron Bay. Um, he kind of, ro you know, rocked up into the dressing room with I think he was with Zach Brown at the time. Oh wow! And I was like, wow, okay. And I, that was 2015, and the band were all like, you know, just totally freaking out. But yeah. he's such a cool dude. Really sweet. That's sweet awesome. Guy. And do you, do you follow the Avengers movies? Yeah, I've, I've, ch I've watched a good few of them. Um, and yeah, so excited to see you know Endgame. I think is oh he's, yeah. he was he's on the promo trail for Endgame. We're so almost there. Cool. It's coming out in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Do you when you're on the road? Do you have time to you know an off day pop into a movie theater or anything? The last film I saw, not often. The last film I, I got, I, I was in Atlanta. I got to see. I went to see Us, the Jordan Peele. Oh, Jordan okay. Peele so that yeah. was recent. I mean, yeah, that's only recent, been out yeah. for a couple of weeks. Was yeah. it good? It was. Yeah, really. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, th it's but that that's the first film I've seen in the theater. I don't think I've been. That was in 12 months. That was the first time I've been in a theater. Wow, in months, really? So not often. Yeah. yeah huh. No. That's kind of my life too. But I have two small children at home, totally. so that's why yeah. when they get a little older, I'll get back into the theater. I haven't seen Us. I haven't seen anything in a, in a very long time. Yeah. Uh, and you told me right before we started the interview, I mean, Wasteland Baby has not been out long, but you're already itching to get back in the studio? I am, yeah. I'm eager to, to write music, I suppose, again. I mean, that's that's the first love, is kind of just making, is making the, is seeing ideas come come to fruition, putting them down and, and yeah. letting it happen, you know. So I am, I'm looking forward to that. I well, think. what's your process on the road? Are you writing? Are you just kind of fiddling around with the guitar? It's kind of, yeah, you're kind of noodling. You're kind of, it's more... It's very little time for actually to sit down with an idea for long enough to, to, to let it grow out into a full fully formed thing. So it's you you pick up ideas, you gather ideas, and you and and you you just want to explore explore those. You know. Explore. Are you one of those guys that maybe like wakes up and like oh I have an idea for a song or wherever you are you're like oh where's my phone I got to record a voice note a melody just popped in my L head. Yeah, totally like that. Yeah. So you do that. Yeah, you could wait. Yeah, it could be you're out of the shower, you're just wandering. There's been times where. I remember boarding a plane at one stage and like trying to record like an idea popping. If I, if I don't get this down now, I'm not going to get it back. And then I'm trying to listen back days later, all I can hear is <laughs> engine noise. <laughs> and just, you know. But um, yeah, anytime, anytime. Do you ever do it in a public place where people are looking at yeah, you? Like, what is yeah. what is this tall guy doing yeah, singing yeah, yeah. into his phone? Yeah, you no, know, it happens. And that's so, so funny. Yeah, you're kind of like pretending like you're doing something yeah. else. With it. Yeah. yeah. On a phone call, singing into it. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, thanks so much for being back here, man. Coming back by MyFM here in town for uh, for a show tonight at the Cemetery, which yeah. you've never played before. Yeah. Sure, it's going to go well. Should be fun. Trying yeah. to follow along with kind of, you know, your uh, your past few shows, it seems like it's a religious experience. People are, it's a, it's a pretty good tour. It, seems <laughs> it like. should be fun. Yeah, it should be fun. It's yeah, a good show. Well, yeah. thanks for being here, Hosier, at MyFM. Thank thanks, you. buddy. Thank you, dude.